Welcome to the official Monster Hobbies YouTube channel. My name is Trevor Ursulescu, owner of Monster Hobbies Online. Today we're going to be looking at the 1995 Mustang GT by Monogram. This is a really, really cool model kit you don't want to miss. If you love watching model car unboxing videos, tips and techs, and so much more, at the end of the video, if you hang on, I will tell you about a special channel that's Monster Hobbies owned and operated that deals with nothing but model car tips, techs, and all kinds of cool things. So stay tuned to the end of that. So now without further ado, let's unbox our great Mustang and see what's in the box. Here we've got our 1995 Mustang GT from Monogram. This is a 124 scale model kit for skill level two, so that's ages 10 and up. Again, this is a sort of rough box that I have. I don't have a good new example of this kit, but overall, everything's there. On this side of the box, we are confronted with this gigantic sticker that says, actual kit molded in yellow. The model kit features are right here. And then we've got our front three quarter and our rear three quarter of the 95 Mustang. And you can see just how they styled it basically like the 64 with that same kind of grill in front and the lights in the back. On this side of the box, we get the wonderful rear three quarter shot of our model, as well as the under hood details. Here you can see a lot of the decals used in the kit and that nice plenum. And then here we've got the skill level. So this is a skill level two kit and it says choose the model kit that's right for you. And now let's open up the lid on our 95 Mustang GT. A little bit sticky today. There we go. We've got our 95 instruction sheet right there as well as our decal sheet. And then here we've got our model molded in yellow plastic. Thank goodness they put that warning sticker on there. And then we've got our chrome plated parts, which actually sort of have an aluminum vibe going on. We've got our glass in here, which is nice in the bag. A couple of pieces that came off, and then we've also got our wheels down there. Thank you for watching this video up to this point. It really means a lot to us. And if you're enjoying these great model cars, we want to offer you a special promo code where you can save a little bit off your next purchase at www.monster-hobbies.ca. Just enter the promo code YouTube so that we know that you watched this video on this channel and then got interested enough in our model cars to maybe pick up a few. So that promo code once again is YouTube over at www.monster-hobbies.ca. Hello everybody, this is Danny the dog, your dog on the street. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Ford Mustang GT and this is a really great model kit by Monogram so I can't wait to check out the instructions. I'm just going to grab my little pointer stick and then we'll get beginning. Now here we have our instruction sheet and you can see the nice pony running here as well as the side view of our Mustang and then here we've get a nice write up on the Mustang and we get our read this first section then some of the symbols you're going to see in the instructions as well as our nice paint chart down here. Our first panel shows the wonderful engine going together. So here we have the left and right hand side engine block with the transmission off the back and then our manifold going on. We've got our cylinder heads and our valve covers, the oil pan and a separate engine cover. And once we get that subassembly done, we can add on our left and right hand side exhaust manifolds, the oil filter, the power steering unit onto our belts, another serpentine belt. We got our alternator there, and then we've got our starter motor here, and all of that hooks into our chassis. Now panel two jumps right into the interior. Take a look at this, we got our inner fender wells molded in place, and then the interior bucket, and separate side door panels, separate console, separate parking brake lever, a gear shift lever, and then we've got our pedals here for the standard transmission car, a firewall, master cylinder, and the windshield wiper motor. Then we're instructed to go down here and see the rest. And here we are with a note on how to paint the dashboard, put in all your dials and details, and the piece is separate and pops into the dashboard. There we've got our steering column and our steering wheel and our front bucket seats with the backs going on. Panel 3 shows our chassis assembly details and you can see this is a big, big sheet of paper. So we've got our exhaust system going in place and our rear springs. 
And then we've got our rear differential here. There's also a axle bottom, so those glue together. Then we got our shock absorbers going in here and right rear stabilizer and a left stabilizer as well. And there's our drive shaft going in, hooking on the back of the transmission and then into the front of the differential. Here we have the bottom part of that illustration showing the front shock absorbers going in place and getting ready for the next assembly step. In panel four, we see our suspension assembly and here we've got our front suspension unit dropping in place. We've got the front springs that go in first, of course, and our front stabilizer bar, and then the rack and pinion steering unit. Down here at the bottom of the page, it shows how the bottom of the chassis and the angle of springs are. That's up in here. And over here, we also see our front shock absorber where it's supposed to go in the wheel arch. And that's shown here. Panel five shows our final chassis details. So here we've got the radiator front and back gluing together, as well as the coolant tank, which glues over here. Then that drops into our chassis and we hook up the upper radiator hose on the top of our engine and the lower radiator hose on the bottom. So once we're down here, we uh, flip the car over to mount on the wheels. Now these are that press fit kind. So make sure your seam lines are scraped, otherwise the wheel won't go around. And we've got to watch the rotation of the tires again, much like the Corvette kits we looked at earlier. There's the disc brakes in the back, our wheel inner, and then the tire and our wheel outer. These are good years. Oh, and then we have the shimmel bar being glued in place, as well as the air cleaner on top of the engine, and the distributor down there, and our oil filler. Panel 6 shows our body assembly with the main body right here. Then we've got our taillights going in the back and this shows you how to paint them. We also have our front headlight bezels being put in place and then the clear parking lights, driving lights go in there. We've also got our underhood sticker going in here and then our windows up into the body and our rear view mirror. Down here we see our completed body being hooked up onto our chassis which just seems to drop into place. You might need to maneuver a bit but it should go well. Then we have our hood being dropped in. Underneath we have a decal there. There's our front headlamps going in. A little Mustang grill emblem right in there. Then our right and left hand side mirrors with the chrome piece hooking in. We've got a decal for our license plate, a rear tail lamp that's in here, clear red, spoiler dropping on, and our windshield wipers. We also have this nice decal here, which is a spec sheet for selling the car you can put in one of the side windows. And off the back, we have a complete trim and paint color chart, as well as down here, where you can see the preferred equipment package and options. So now we'll just go over to Trevor and he can show us all those cool model car parts. We hope you're enjoying this video so far, a nice little look at the model car collection. And if you're looking for a great channel which showcases model cars, also talks about new releases and it has unboxing videos, as well as tip and tech videos, if that's right up your alley, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this channel with all your friends and family. So now let's carry on with our great model car expose. So here we have our Mustang, and I did notice that this one is actually a bit warped. It needs to go down in the front. There's a bit of a twist into it. But overall, the overall look of this Mustang is quite nice. You can see the fine detail up under the hood. It's even got the latch mechanism molded in place. Again, it's got the little vent here for our cowl. And uh, there's the nice door handles and the open little back area on the scoop and our fuel cap door and along the back you can actually read the words mustang in there and see the little spot for the parking light up underneath it is quite nice no real major mold marks a couple of seam lines but those are easily removed with your number 16 hobby blade on our next parts tree we can see the front stabilizer and these were the spots where the mirrors were attached there's our exhaust pipes and they do have mustang or ford molded in on the mufflers and then we got our shock absorbers, our radiator hose. Here is our interior with the front um, under hood details and our wonderful dashboard. So let's just bring this up and take a look. Oh, the gauges are actually molded in place. It was just a clear lens that glues on top. You don't get to paint them from behind or anything. Again, you got the nice Mustang script in there. The seats look like the real deal. 
And look at all this under hood detail, quite nice. Got your battery in there and the upper shock towers. There is the Ford logo emblem molded on those mufflers. Again, really nice. If I turn it over, there's really no mold marks on here. So again, that's really quite nice. So there you go. Our next parts tree includes our engine and our chassis. So here we've got our springs and the upper intake manifold. And there's the lower intake manifold. That's our plenum there. Look at that amazing Mustang five-speed transmission. Again, really nice work by Monogram. They have really got this accurate. Let's take a look at that up in the camera. Again, you can see just how wonderful these floorboards and everything are. Really amazing looking little model kit. Glad I picked it up back in the day, even if that body is a bit warped. Again, underneath, it's quite nice. They've got these little sunken in buttons. I guess that's sort of a mold mark. Well, not really, but I do believe it adds in some extra strength in on the plastic. So again, overall, really nicely done. This parts tree shows our wonderful looking bucket seats. We also have the little piece up here. That's where your seatbelt would go through from the ceiling on the three piece Ford harnesses. There's our center console, our pedals, steering wheel, shock absorbers. There's our console shift levers. And we also have our windshield wipers and that nice serpentine belt. So again, let's just bring this up. Here's our center console. You can see all the cool spots. There's for your gear shift lever. Also, it has a little sunken in component there, just like the real thing. I remember I worked for a Ford dealership back in the day and we always had to detail these cars and clean them up just so that the customers would buy them. Look on the steering wheel. Again, you get your Ford logo in there. It's be really awesome to paint. How many of you have actually built this model? Let us know in the comments below. How did you like it? Did it go together nice? It looks like it would. This parts tree includes our Mustang hood and the door panels, as well as the front stabilizer bar. Actually, this is the under hood one. And then we've got our differential top and bottom, front axle. There's a spoiler, the firewall, drive shaft, and that's our rack and pinion steering. So be careful with removing this from the parts tree as it looks very brittle here. We also have our radiator front and back. And if I just turn this over, you can see the nice Mustang pony up underneath that yellow hood. Again, really nicely done. Very excellent. Look at that fan on there, electric fan. So really excellent work. Again, wonderful model by Monogram. Here we have our chrome parts tree, and this has the wheel backs as well as the fronts. The chrome on here is actually sort of dulled down to make it look more like aluminum. There we've got our nice disc brakes for both front and rear and our mirror inserts and the little Mustang pony. So be careful with that rear view mirror, the front headlight bezels and some of our engine components, including the alternator there. Now, just take a look at how great these are. You can see the little pony symbol right in the center of those mag wheels. Again, really excellent. Look at the detail on those brake drums. Looks like the real thing with the calipers. And again, really, really excellent. So yeah, very good, very nice chrome. I give it top marks. Here's our clear components for our Mustang. And you can see the nice defroster lines molded into the glass. We also have our sun visors up here, the rear tail lights, the rear brake light. And then we also have our front headlights with the wrap around the little clear bit for our gauges and many other great awesome little things. So again, bringing this up to the camera, you can see they got the nice lines in there, just like the real thing. And again, really excellent work. Not sure what this little piece is. I can't remember from the instructions what Danny was saying. Anyway, there's those nice deflect defrosters molded in the back. Again, really, really well done. You can see the little dot there. That's where the rear view mirror gl glues in place. So be careful there. And again, our rear tail lights, they look really, really great. So what else can we say? Monogram makes a really good model. That's about it. And here we have our tires for the Mustang. Now we will have to clip them off the parts tree and remove this and take a little bit of care in removing the flash that's in here. But these are the Goodyear Eagle directional tires, which were very popular back in the 90s. Again, you've got to make sure that you have the tread pattern rolling to the front with the angle there angle points forward but uh, basically there's no no uh, lettering on the sides here 
what there is on the one side so that's your guide in keeping this straight is that your lettering will be going out to the front of the car or to the, the side of the car I guess and the smooth sides will be going inside so here we are again looking over the decal sheet we've got an Illinois XBB 94 license plate right there and then a Michigan Stang one down below and then we've got a window sticker for our dealership that has all the info of the car on there and then all the decals which go in the engine bay just to dress it up. Well I really hope you enjoyed that look at Monogram's 1995 Mustang GT model kit. Thank you for sticking to the end of this video with us and now I'm going to tell you all about the Monster Hobbies model car garage. So if you love unboxing videos like what we're doing here, you're going to love the Monster Hobbies model car garage channel because over there we do unboxings of there's model cars on there that are not on this channel so that's a bonus that's really cool we also have tips and techniques where i teach you my 40 years of experience building models all these little tricks i learned along the way we also have show and tell videos of both my models and my dad's which is really really cool again really really cool <laughs> And what else? I even build models on there to help you to learn how to build these great kits, put them all together and display them on your shelf. My goal is to help you as a model builder to improve your skills and maybe even learn some of your skills in the comment sections down below. So if you dig that kind of scene, man, check out this video here, it talks all about it. And if you just wanna go straight there without looking at that video, check out this link down here and we'll see you at the monster hobbies model car garage until next time everybody happy model building and we'll see you in the next video